I would say to ban the wireless uh, internet communications in schools. I would say to ban the wireless uh, internet communications in schools. I see this as the rising big problem for human health. It's not something that we look at and say, oh my goodness, we don't care. We've studied, we've responded, we've researched, we've studied. Um, I can find anything by anyone to confirm a belief I have. Doesn't mean that my belief is grounded in fact. Um, it doesn't mean that over time, if uh, there's some research that suggests that there's something we should be doing differently, we wouldn't. We said that from the beginning. comment is about uh, the IARC decision in uh, 2011 uh, to classify radio frequencies as a uh, possible human carcinogen group 2b and um, based on brain tumor risk and after that uh, the evidence I would say has increased even so we could say that it's probable human carcinogen which some scientists around the world propagate for class 2a so the bottom line is if there's something that is at least a possible human carcinogen why are we exposing uh, our children to that Montgomery County school leaders say in order to keep classroom learning innovative, they have to use mobile technology. And where we don't know the long term effects, there are no children that have been exposed uh, for 12 years and who have been followed up to 70 or 80 years, what uh, the time life would be. So I think this is, uh, this is a horrifying situation in, in the schools uh, in many countries by now. I think uh, we need quite a lot of education of the society. What is this about? We need to educate the medical profession because doctors and other working in the medical profession are mostly unaware of these health problems and think that um, the exposure is not, no, not a problem. The exposure is not, no, not a problem.